What's one of your favorite brands and why do you love them? What about them do you love? What makes you love them? Um, and how do you feel whenever you interact with them? In this video, we're talking about how Target, Free People, a whole bunch of other Wendy's, a whole bunch of other different brands have mastered their brand voice and how you can do that as well for your brand. So stay tuned. What's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea. I'm a visual branding coach teaching you guys how to build your brand and increase your income online. For the best business and branding tips here online, be sure you subscribe to my channel and then also hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a single upload, okay? You don't wanna do that. So someone tweeted Wendy's and said, happy 50th birthday, Wendy's. New teas, fresh off the grill to pay homage to half a century of Frosties, singles, and spicy nugs. Wendy's tweeted back and said, <laughs> they said, dang, these teas looking fresh, never frozen. <laughs> And like literally like Wendy's is literally so funny, so like punny, so witty, so clever, so sarcastic. And that is their brand voice. And on social media, like if you are on Twitter, if you follow them on Twitter, you know that it is really fun to engage with them on social media. And they aren't just doing that so that you engage with them on social media. They're doing that in a very strategic way so that you engage with their actual brand outside of social media. So they have an amazing brand voice. They have mastered their brand voice and so has tons of other different brands. And I'm gonna talk about that later in the video, but I wanted to just come and show you guys exactly how you can do the same thing. So let's hop into the steps. So step number one is identifying who you are talking to. Who is your audience? Like, what do they like? What are they interested in? And how do you want them to feel whenever you, whenever they engage with your brand? Do you want them to feel um, empowered? Do you want them to feel like engaging with your brand means that they are, um, earth loving people like how lush is it's like earth loving and, and healthy products and like good good skincare products good products for um yourself that doesn't have all these crazy crazy things in it who do you want your person your audience who is engaging with you how do you want them to feel about themselves after they engage with your brand and so there's kind of two questions so who is your audience and then how do you want them to feel so that's step number one of identifying how to start developing your brand voice okay step number two is start studying some brands that have amazing brand voice and i'll give you a few lush is one of them which is one that i literally just pointed out but lush i love me some lush y'all because they have their products are clean they don't have all this crazy crap in it you know what i mean like and that's what i'm all for and so but their brand voice is very like pampering like love yourself like love the earth and that's who i am and so that's what i identify with their brand target they're very peppy they're very happy they're energetic like look at their commercials look at them on twitter um follow them start following these different brands and see how they're interacting and you'll get what i'm saying when it comes to brand voice another great one you already know is wendy's which i pointed out earlier wendy's is so sarcastic so punny so just like overall if you know if you come for them on Twitter they're gonna come right back they're gonna clap back real nice and it's like also you know how they're gonna say stuff they have mastered their brand voice so well that for example somebody tweeted something to Wendy's and then Wendy's replied back and said nice if that was another brand you would think they said nice but knowing Wendy's and knowing their brand voice you know they said nice you know what I mean? Like that's sarcastic because you know the tone as well. So those are just a few brands that I like love and I love to follow in terms of their brand voice. They have mastered it and they really, really hone into it and literally do it on all platforms. Another brand is Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson is very like aggressive, manly, masculine, like tough. You know what I mean? Because their audience mostly are men who like want that thrill, want that, um, want that adventure and that's what they want th their audience to associate with in order to associate with their brand. So another brand that is great at this is Free People. So Free People is amazing because their audience is full of easygoing women who are like, just like literally easygoing and prefer that chill lifestyle, prefer that cute but chill lifestyle. And so they embody that lifestyle and they use that in their brand voice. So whenever you're engaging with them, you feel 
like at ease, you feel peaceful. You you know, like it it's how does that brand make you feel? So free, free people really does embody that and they do really, really well um, on their platform. So I advise you to check out all four of those. I will put all four in the description box so that you can use that as a reference to go and check them out um, online. They are a great example of how to do it and to really stick with it and not do it on one platform and then halfway do it on another and then don't do it at all in your emails. They do it all over. And so check them out, y'all. They're amazing. So really quick question for you is comment down below. What is your favorite brand to engage with online? What is your favorite brand to engage with? But then also what is the favorite platform to engage with your brand, with the brands that you like online as well? Comment that down below. Okay, so number three is your brand's personality. Like what is your brand's personality? Is it masculine? Is it passionate? Is it inspiring? Is it motivational? What is it? And like identify that, get very clear on that and that's gonna help you develop your brand voice as well. Okay, so step four is your brand mission or purpose. What is your brand's goal? Like what, what does your brand want to do? Do you want to uplift, to inspire, to um, invoke, to whatever? Like what is your brand's goal to um, dare you to dream? To Like what is your brand's goal? or your purpose, your brand's mission, or your brand's purpose, um, so that don't confuse goal and purpose, but anyway, your brand's purpose and your brand's mission, like decide what that is, get a piece of paper, write all of this down, and actually I will have a freebie down below for you guys to check out, and it will list all this stuff out so you can do a whole thing about your brand and how to do it yourself, so check it out down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, so decide like what is your purpose, like what, what are you aspiring to do with your brand? Number five is tone. A lot a lot of people say you hear this all the time it's not what you say it's how you say it and that's so true so for example here's three different um things i'm gonna say it it's pretty much saying the same thing in three different ways i'm gonna say it three different ways um so have it your way right then there's do what you want then there's it's all about you or there's it's all about you do you see the difference and that's what I was saying with Wendy's, like because I know their brand voice, because I engage with them often on social media, I know when they replied to somebody and they said, nice, like the way they said it, <laughs> the way they wrote it literally and the way they said it was so Wendy's. It was so sarcastic. It was so like funny. You know what I mean? Like we knew what that sounded like as if they were talking to us. They personify their brand, if that makes sense. You want to give your brand like a personable, a personal feel um, because people like engaging with people. They don't engage with brands, they engage with people. And Wendy's does a very good job of that. So one more time, the three examples are have it your way or have it your way. Number two, do what you want. Do what you want. <laughs> Number three is, it's all about you. Or, it's all about you. You see what I'm saying? That's like totally different. And so on top of your brand voice, you also have to establish your brand tone. It's very important, okay? Um, so again, I just said literally the, the same thing, literally the same concept, but I said it three different ways with also three different tones to kind of show you guys the variation between brand voice and brand tone. Number six is simply, who are you as a person? Who are you as a person? What is your personality? Like you, not your brand. What is you as a person? What is your personality? And where are the similarities between your personality and your desired brand voice? You want to be sure, especially as for me, I am the voice of my brands. I am the face of my brand. So who I am represents my brand, if that makes sense. And so if you are like me and you have that um, aspect to you, which a lot of consultants, a lot of um, entrepreneurs do, you are associated with your brand as the main like point person. You want to be sure that your values and that you, how you talk and your, um, what's it called? Your brand voice and your tone and stuff aligns with your brand because people will associate you with your brand far more than they associate your brand with your brand. Does that make sense? So you want to be sure that you have some similarities there. And so saying that, be sure, like if you go back through the top things, don't have your brand be this super tough masculine type of thing if you necessarily are not super tough and masculine. Now, I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm saying that's just something that you would have to work probably a little harder to maintain to have to remember, okay, this is how I talk for my brand. This is how I talk for myself. But if you align them together, and make them around the same thing, it's gonna be so much easier for you, okay? It's gonna be so much easier. Now, if you're a big corporation, that's a whole different story, but right now I'm really talking to entrepreneurs.
entrepreneurs, creatives, influencers, stuff like that. Okay, so number seven is your brand values. Think of three core values that your brand stands by. For example, mine are literally taped to my tripod right now. Mine, my number one is relatable. I wanna be relatable. I want you guys to know that you can relate to me, that you can um, vibe with me, that I've been there, I've gone through it, and I don't want you to go through it the hard way, and that's why I'm here. And then number two is faith-filled and faith-based. I want you guys to know that you can do it through the power of God, and that you've got this. Another one is inspirational slash motivational. I want to push you guys to know that you can do anything you put your mind to, and it's really overcoming mindset and overcoming so much more. So those are mine, relatability, and then motivating, inspiring, and then also faith-filled. Faith-filled is more so kind of like an all encompassing one so I don't really consider it like it is oh, of course one of my values however like motivation and inspiration that comes like the faith field is like plugged into there if that makes sense so those are mine now what are yours comment down below what yours are as well if you don't know think about it really quick comment down below before the video ends okay so all the tips I gave you are extremely important to keep in mind when you are creating your video outlines creating your video scripts creating your email content like building out your website and all the content that's going to be on there, building out your social media posts. All of this is extremely important. And this is why, honestly, like if you don't do anything, I highly recommend for you to start here and determine what you want your brand to be. What do you want people to associate your brand with? How do you want them to feel after engaging with your brand? This is going to be very important. And this is how you build a dynamic bomb brand okay i'm just telling you up front and so i will have the, the link down below in the description box to how you can grab your own copy um and i have given it to you for free it's down below in the description box so if you like this video this is only a taste of what you're going to get in she's elite society we tackle branding we tackle brand building brand voice brand tone youtube filming literally everything that you need to build your brand and increase your income online and through the power of YouTube, that we cover it all, okay? And so I highly recommend for you to hop in there. This video is great, however, there are, I go into far more details in the videos that are in She's Elite Society. So I highly recommend for you to join. It is a community full of the most elite brand building women, faith-based women, motivated women ever. And so I highly recommend for you to join. I love it, of course, and I know you would love it as well. So at least, Check it out, and I can't wait to see you inside. So anyway, you guys, I love you so much. These are all of my tips. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.